Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. Today I'm going to talk about how dozens of PBS stations are now live streaming their content for free, both on the website and on the PBS app. This makes PBS one of the first major networks to offer their programming live for free over the internet. While other networks like ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox soon follow, I'll tell you in just a bit. If you're a cord cutter, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to get a notification whenever I post a new video. So getting back to the main subject of this video. PBS now offers live streaming on 85 of their stations on the website and on the PBS app. This is great for those of you who live in an area where you can't get reliable reception of your local PBS station. Participating stations include WNET in New York, WHYY in Philadelphia, WQED in Pittsburgh, and many others. I attach a link in the description of this video to a full list of PBS stations that now offer live streaming. If your PBS station is one of the 85 stations, all you have to do to live stream them is go to pbs.org and click on Live TV. You can also access the live stream through the PBS app on Roku. If you have an Amazon Fire TV stick, you can't access the live stream through the PBS app on there, but you can access the live stream by using a web browser. With this announcement from PBS, will other networks like ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox begin to offer their local stations live and for free over the internet? I don't think so, and I'm going to explain why. You see, most local TV stations get something called retransmission fees from local cable and satellite TV services. What this means is for every subscriber on the cable, satellite, or streaming service, the TV station gets a fee, and this can be anywhere from a few cents to several dollars. According to the Radio and Television Business Report, TV stations brought in over $10 billion from retransmission fees alone in 2018. The networks are not going to let anything compromise that money, which is one of the main reasons why ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox are suing Lowcast, a nonprofit that's rebroadcasting local TV stations in several markets across the United States. Since PBS is funded by taxpayer dollars, the individual stations are not allowed to collect retransmission fees on cable, satellite, and streaming services. As a result, the network has no problem offering their content for free over the internet. On the other hand, major networks like ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox make a lot of money off the retransmission fees and are not going to give that up. In my humble opinion, this is one of the reasons why some TV stations out there put very little effort into their over-the-air signals and don't update viewers if they are at a reduced power. Seriously guys, just look at this chart that represents retransmission fee revenue. In 2008, $502 million was collected. A decade later, over $10 billion was collected. This is one of the reasons why cable and satellite TV is so expensive. The major networks keep increasing these retransmission fees that the cable and satellite TV services must pay them. I hope I didn't get too off topic for some of you, but I really needed to explain the whole retransmission fee thing. It makes sense why PBS is willing to offer their content live and for free over the internet, and why the major networks aren't going to offer much besides a few on-demand shows and local newscasts. Still, this is a great milestone in the world of broadcasting. If any of you have problems getting a local PBS station by an antenna, you can now live stream them for free if you live in a market with that participating PBS station. If your local PBS station doesn't offer live streaming, don't worry. I can see PBS adding more stations in the coming months and years. Now, if you have issues with an ABC, NBC, CBS, or Fox station, don't expect free live streaming to be offered by them anytime soon. If you want to get them for free, you're going to need a good antenna setup. I do offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. There I'll go through your unique reception situation, take a look at the frequencies and signal strengths, and make a recommendation on how to get the best reception possible based on my experience setting up antennas in four TV markets. 
Antennas truly are not a one size fits all model. Investing in a custom antenna recommendation from me can prevent you from wasting hundreds of dollars on purchasing and setting up the wrong antenna. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. A huge thanks to these folks who support me on Patreon. I spend between five to eight hours a day on the channel and these people help make my videos possible. If you would like to help support the YouTube channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, direct contact with me, and participation in a monthly Q&A video, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of my video. As always, stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related information and have an awesome day.